Hospitals often use clinical alert rule systems to help physicians and nurses monitor patients and to remind them to perform critical tasks. Currently, hospitals face significant challenges from these systems. One challenge is that building the rules is similar to writing a computer program, thus making rule building a difficult and error-prone activity. Another challenge is that rules cannot be immediately tested on archived data. Our system, the Medical Alert Rule Building System, or MARBLES, was specifically designed to better address these challenges. MARBLES is a visual environment for creating clinical rules. What is most unique about MARBLES is the synchronized connection between the rule workspace and the visual query explorer, where an action in one affects the other. Another unique feature of MARBLES is the rule simulator, which tests rules on archived data and displays visual alert signals. Alright, so let's say I'm Dr. Bob and I'm worried about my patient, Mr. Krebs. His potassium and white blood cell count levels have been a little bit, uh, a little bit bad lately, so I want to put together a rule to monitor these things. So first I drag the potassium piece out into the workspace so I can see his potassium levels. I see a few days ago it spiked, it got a little bit high, so I want to put together a rule template to monitor his potassium levels. So now I have the template for potassium. Next I want to go on to his white blood cell count levels. So first I'm going to put a white blood cell count piece out into the workspace. So rather than monitoring his whole history, I just want to consider the last three labs. So I'm going to create a rule template to reflect that. And now I'm going to zoom in on this region of the graph right here. I want to try and remember what levels his, uh, his white blood cell counts were at. Once he gets below about 10, um, that's when things went bad. So I'm going to bring out a value piece here and give it the value of 10. I'm going to finish putting together this template manually. Alright, now this red X up here is indicating the rule's still incomplete, and I don't quite remember uh, what, uh, what I need to do next. So, oh, that's right, okay, so this refreshed my memory. It reminded me I need to add a rule piece. And now I remember here, I need to add an OR operator to combine these two conditions. So if either of these two conditions are true, I want to trigger an alert. So here, now that we've completed the rule, we see in the bottom graphs these yellow lines indicating when alerts are triggered. So this first set makes sense, his white blood cell counts were pretty low, it would make sense that an alert would be triggered here. Same thing with this second group. However, this last group of alerts really shouldn't have been triggered. It looks like the rule's firing a little too frequently. So it looks to me like I set my value for potassium to be a little too low, the threshold was too low, so I'm going to up it to 5. So we see when I up it to 5, these last few alerts, these faulty alerts, go away. So now I'm pretty happy with this rule. I'm going to go ahead and apply it to patient Krebs.